Welcome to The Advisor with your host, Stacey Chalemi. In this episode, we're joined by a very special guest. This is his second appearance here, and it's Ron Beckenfield. He's the founder of Superior Source Vitamins. Ron is an expert in the field of nutrition and supplementation, and he's here to share his insights on the importance of high-quality vitamins and the impact they have on our overall health and well-being. So get ready to learn about the science behind Superior Source Vitamins and how they play a vital role in optimizing our health. So let's dive into it, Ron. Tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do in case they haven't seen the first video that you've done with us. Uh, I've been in the supplement business for uh, 60 years. And I basically how I really got started was my mom. She was like, like you always into the health and the supplements. I probably started taking supplements oh, when I was about 10, 12 years old. And there was very few health food stores, obviously no online or any of that in this. It just carried for, I've always had an interest in uh, health, sport. And I started my uh, uh, superior source, my vitamin company out of the trunk of my car in the, in the late 60s. Wow. And it's just been a, a learning process ever, ever since. But as much as I am in the vitamin business, I just have to re reiterate the food and rest and exercise are the, the key ingredients. Definitely. It's supplements are supplements. Exactly. And what's really made a big uh, big difference in the industry, especially to keep your weight under control, are the, pro are the protein powders. We mm -hmm. can substitute them for a meal. It could be a pea protein or whey protein, but they're filling in very, very low calorie. Instead of like sitting down for a 500 or 400 or 600 calorie, you can get, get full on 150 calories. Wow. And with uh, 20 grams of protein, which is critical, obviously. Right. You're supposed to have a certain amount of protein on your diet every day. About a gram per body weight. It used to be a half a gram. You know, it all depends how active you are. And especially as you're older, I really think you need more. Right. You can hang on to your bone mass and your muscle mass. And that's where the protein comes in. Right. It's, it's, it's a, you'll, you'll burn your uh, 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 calorie, you'll burn the carbs, fats, proteins the last. Okay. And that, and that's a good... Uh, a source, a backup source. Now, when you started all this, you know, everyone has like a purpose in life. We all have our passion. What drove you down this road that made you feel so passionate about what you do? Because you've been in this business forever. You know, you, you started, you had an interest in it, like you mentioned when you were young. What really drove you down this journey where you this wanted to help people? Se several things. Uh, being vain is part of it. Uh, and I always wanted to be a, a muscle man mm -hmm. and I thought the girls liked it, <laughs> I, you know, you, you know, I, I just, the way it was. And I don't forget growing up in Southern California where this movement really started Yeah, I mean, with, uh, the, the, the bodybuilding and all and that, that, that sort of thing, even way before goals, Jim, I mean, it was a culture out here and it was not, it wasn't popular like it is now where it's more mainstream. And I, I, you know, th that's what drove me. And to get into business, you know, I want to make a living, you know, for sure. But I always want to look good. It makes you feel good. I feel yeah. good when you're in shape and you feel good. You know, I, I just, it works for me. Right. You know, yeah. I, I feel like society has really, a lot of people have lost track. You see so much obesity and people are accepting overweightness now and they're they're fine with it and people don't realize that you know it really we should treat our body like a temple you know what we put in our bodies make a huge impact on our health whether it be you know the the right foods you know having pure foods that don't have artificial ingredients in it you know as we get older as you know we have, our bodies become deficient and you know we need more of certain vitamins and nutrients and and supplementation and you know what's your intake you know cuz you know i see so many people you know they they increase in their in their weight gain you know you see people saying that you know big is beautiful but then you're opening yourself up to high blood pressure cholesterol heart disease diabetes um, what's your intake about really taking care of yourself and really focusing on healthy nutrition and healthy eating? Because 
I think people really have to understand when we don't take care of ourselves and we put foods in our bodies, it really plays an impact on how we feel. It could prevent illness. It could actually keep us here a longer time, increase our longevity, and it could help us when, you know, every day with our energy levels, going, going through chronic fatigue and other things. Well, all that is right. The problem is that people don't value their health the way you're talking. They'd rather have things, you know, the or fashion or the latest computer, the latest this, the latest, and they've lost perspective. Your base, uh, I hate to say, you're going to, everybody's going to, you, you live about the same if you take care of yourself or not. But what is your quality of life be? When you start falling apart, I think you got to really start really paying attention to yourself about 40. I mean, so you don't turn the corner where it's tough. Yeah. And, you know, if you can't afford to put 20 minutes or 30 minutes a day into yourself, I mean, you know, you're going to get, you know, whatever you put in life, you're going to get out. And like you say, the way you make your bed is the way you're going to sleep in it. Yeah, very and true. Now there's, when I started, I mean, getting into this, uh, this health thing, the, the nutritional labeling wasn't even available. You didn't know how many grams of this or grams of that. Wow. Uh, they didn't have these wonderful uh, foods you have now. They can make cardboard taste good. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it just wasn't available. It's such a treat now. You can go anywhere. I used to go to breakfast or somewhere and I said, give me some egg whites. And they'd look at me and get, get the hell out of here, you know? Yeah. But go next door, go somewhere else. <laughs> now, they're happy to do this for you. And it's uh, it's like if you either you're health, either you look good and healthy or you're not. I don't think there's any medium of the road in this. 20, 30 percent, uh, 20 or 30 pounds, people are heavier now and it's acceptable. I don't I don't buy any of that. You can't feel good. Especially when you're older, you really got to have to put the a little time into yourself. And the 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 food is the key exercise you need to rest and probably might get off the subject a little bit as you get older. First, the females and the males is your hormones. Right. Get it all tied together. I call it the four uh, legs of the table. Yeah. Eating, rest, working out, and your hormones. I agree. And you can really be stay healthy and virile for a long time. I, I mean, it'll work. It works if you do maybe 20, 40 minutes a day, you know, if something you enjoy doing. Just not walking's better than nothing, but some kind of a, a, a resistance training, some kind of form of stretching. It'll really serve you really well. Yeah, I agree. Now your company has been here forever. Like, it, it, you know, you, you know, it's not like a company that's been here a year or two. You have been, you, you have your company superior source vitamins has been here a very long time. When did you founded the company? It In was 1969. Wow. And, but this, uh, the brand superior source started in, in the late nineties. Mm -hmm. so I've been at this thing over 50 years and, I don't have to work, but I like working. Yeah. And I'm constantly doing research and studying. I mean, all this stuff is coming to the forefront, uh, uh, especially these protein powders and uh, uh, that type of things uh, is really um, for the weight control. Yeah. You know, I hate to plug another company if you're really lazy, you know, a company even like Nutrisystem, they give you measured calories. And it's, you know, I know, but for somebody who doesn't have the patience for it, or basically don't want to cook, don't want to do nothing, uh, they give you a, a, a pretty good deal there, except for I me, mean, it's maybe loaded with the chemicals, which I'm not in love with. But it's if you can learn to read labels, it really serve you well. Your serving yeah. size, don't be you know fooled by that. Uh, that 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 tells you everything. If you can eat fresh foods, you can eat all you want. Right. All the chicken, all the fish. If you want to eat meat, you can eat meat. Uh, buffalo. Uh, Anything fresh, mm -hmm. you know, fruits, vegetables, uh, you can eat all you want. You can have your pasta, you know, a little, some rice and this and that. I eat five times a day. Right. Two two drinks a day and three meals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's only one drink and three meals, but uh, my weight's real stable. I never, uh, I've never been fat in my life, so. Right. And you just keep, you know, I enjoy exercising. I get a high from it. Yeah. You know, most people, they, they know what I'm talking about. If they do some exercise, it's great. And if you're going to put energy, put it in yourself. I mean, how can you go wrong? It's not exactly. Naked. I mean, I was in the gym with Arnold uh, years and years ago. And he goes over and he taps these weights. And I said, what the hell are you doing, 
Arnold says, these are my buddies. They never talk back and they do what I want me to do. <laughs> this was maybe 50 years ago. Mm. That was at Gold's Gym in, in Venice. Oh, wow. We first came to gym. And I remember that pretty much. That's amazing. Just put the energy into yourself. It feels good, you know? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, Ron, yeah. tell me, what makes your vitamins and supplements so unique from other ones on the market? Ours, ours are called microlingual, which they just put very extremely small, a fraction of the size of a dime. I don't know if you can see it in my hand here. Yeah, I see it. And you just put it under your tongue, and it doesn't have all the excessive binders and fillers and chemicals they use to hold tablets together. Right. I don't think people realize a lot of the the chemicals and a lot of the artificial supplement um, ingredients that are used to keep, you know, capsules together and how some of them don't dissolve very easily in the stomach. And actually, a lot of people that I've spoken with do not like to swallow pills because they don't like capsules. And they, you know, a lot of vitamins are made like big, you know, and, and people have trouble swallowing. So that's why I, I, I take your actually for over... I would say about seven years now, I've been using your vitamins and supplements and I love it because it just, it dissolves underneath your tongue and there's, you, you, it's very simple because so many people, that's why so many people use gummies because, and, and the problem Correct. is gummies and, uh, aren't, aren't as healthy. There are too much sugar in there. Yeah. I mean, exactly. you, you got more inactives, which is if you go to read any supplement labels after they give you ingredients, they'll have a, a inactive ingredients or yes. others mm -hmm. then you'll start seeing what it's load what it's loaded up in most cases the inactives are more than the actives like the gummies right sometimes you only got three or four hundred milligrams or 500 milligrams of actives and you got three grams of sugar yeah i mean you know it, it's candy basically i could manufacture those i just not i just don't think they're the right thing for us and we manufacture everything in our own state of the art plant. It's a hundred thousand square foot plant. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, like I said, I've been in business over 50 years. And it, you know, a, a lot of times I don't think there is potent either, right? Excuse me. I don't think gummies aren't really as potent as other vitamins. They're, they're starting to get better at it. What they use is you can use extracts and you get, let's like a 10 to one and you want a thousand milligrams. So you can put a, Hundred milligrams in there. It's a ten to one. You end up with a thousand milligrams. Okay. Okay. And extracts or concentrates. You'll see that a lot of times. We'll have like an X next to it, and it'll say like a hundred milligrams times ten. Then it'll have a thousand. Wow. That, that that that's how it's being done. There's nothing wrong with it. They're just getting the, the extract of the, the the boiling it down the, to, to get you that. Now that's you're you're in phenomenal shape, you know, and. You you said that you exercise twice a day. You watch what you eat. You eat two protein yes. shakes, and right. you have two meals, right? Or five, three, uh, three meals. Three meals, solids a day, and everything. Like breakfast is egg whites, and I had some potatoes and a little fruit. About three hundred calories, four hundred calories. Then uh, I had a protein drink. About three hours later, might have been one hundred fifty calories. Then I'll eat lunch. Uh, I think I'm going to have some sushi, maybe another three or four or five, five hundred. I might get 1,500 calories and I'm eating a lot of food. Dinner, I can have a, I might have some pasta with some fish, a salad. I'm still eating under 2,000 calories, way under 1,500 to 1,800 calories. Wow. And I'm eating, I'm consuming a lot of food though. I so consume a lot of food. So do you think the trick is it's really because you eat more natural food and it's not processed? Is, is that the trick where you're, you're focusing more on natural um, organic type foods. Right. You stay away from a package. I mean, you know, if you like pasta, it's not going to kill you. It's a couple hundred calories, a good serving. I mean, uh, you, you know, that is not bad. It's when you get these muffins and they're loaded with oils and all that stuff. And all of a sudden when these things are 1500, a thousand calories, I mean, you've used your whole calories up for the day, right? You can eat all you want if you eat fresh food. Yes. A, a pound of greens is only a hundred calories. And if you start putting the wrong dressing on, you got a problem. You can might jam it up to five or six hundred calories. Yeah, you got to learn how to read the labels. You know, you got to have some packaged goods. It's not the end of the world. Roll, but I, and the sugars are the killers. That's that's the 
pretty much on every on everything in the package is sugars. Yeah, I sugar. get a little toast in there, but I try to eat potatoes for breakfast. They're like a baked potato is maybe seventy five or hundred calories, and it, it's not much. Right, right. Anything that comes out of the ground is pretty low calorie. Yeah, I love yeah. that you have the the product for um for you have keto collagen, and I I love. You know, people don't realize how important collagen is, is for us because as we get older, we produce less and less collagen and our body is pretty much made from collagen, you know, and uh, even our heart is mostly made of collagen. And, you know, can you explain to people why it's so important to have collagen in your diet? Not only the collagen will hold your bone, you don't want to get sarcopenia, which is loss of bone mass and collagen is tied right into it. I can look at anybody and tell you if they just in a second, if they have some, uh, they're losing their bone mass immediately. Right. You can just look at them. Their shoulders are kind of brought in a little bit and that yep. lack of collagen, lack of movement, lack of, uh, of what I would call a weight uh, resistance training. Mm -hmm. And our keto has a, a 10 grams of collagen in there and uh, it's excellent. I, I use it myself all the time. Yeah, I take collagen every day. I take your keto collagen. And I, I find that it's so important to have collagen in your diet, you know, and for many reasons, you know. Oh, I, absolutely. You know, it's even, it, it's helped me, you know, when I was having joint pain in my fingers, when I started to increase my collagen, I it the joint pain slowly went away. And I'll tell you, it, with the collagen, before I start taking collagen, I maybe cut my fingernails every few months. I got to cut for my fingernails every week. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't believe how my nails grow. It's it just, it, it's, it, it's unbelievable. Even an old dude like me, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. For women, especially very important to hang on to the bone mass, hang on to the muscle. And it's all, it's all tied together. Right. Everything's tied together. Like I said, you need about a, you can get away with a half a gram per body weight of, of a protein and collagen is protein and it all tastes good that's the beauty you know i mean years ago the stuff was just horrid i mean it didn't mix uh the quality was poor now you know with uh, instantizing the whey is fantastic and it dissolves instantly and it's filling and you get a million flavors and it's you know you're talking 50 cents a buck a meal a serving very inexpensive right and convenient yes Another thing is very important you get, especially is water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they keep you hydrated. It all ties in together. Right. And it's just a nice consistency, a little exercise, watch what you eat, enjoy. You can have your wine, glass of wine, you know, it's no big deal. Right. Just moderate living and you still can, doesn't, you know, it's a, it's a way, it's a lifestyle too. If mm -hmm. you go to the gym, you'll, you usually go, let's say you go at 12 o'clock, you see the same people all the time and it becomes a real nice uh, deal there. Right. It's, it's a, it's a good lifestyle. Now you were saying that you could actually put the keto collagen in your coffee. I didn't know that. Oh, it's dynamite. First pour the coffee and just put a scoop of the a key, even two. It it's fantastic. I use it all the time. Wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know and that gives you a boost of energy that helps you? Oh, yeah. Well, the coffee is caffeine, obviously. And, you know, that it's not going to hurt you. I only drink coffee before I work out no other time. It's always herb teas and so on and so forth on a regular basis. And it gives you a little bit of energy. Sometimes you're not quite in the mood. or Once it kicks in, it, it works real well. Now, your your wife and you both have a really uh, great life together. And does your wife follow your 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 way of living? Also, you you well, both. She's she's a beauty queen. Are you kid just, just like you? <laughs> she's like you, and she's a tremendous cook. And once you learn you know, food and food values, you really can really get very good with the cooking. Yeah. She cooks them, and I eat them. It's fifty fifty. <laughs> Who does the cleaning? <laughs> uh, that's her. That's her. That's her fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and with her, uh, we everything's good and fresh. Always fresh food. We have a nice garden at home. We get a lot of fresh food out of it. Anything you can think of, we we have. 
I think that's so important. You know, um, we were, you know, discussing this earlier. We were um, we were talking about, you know, I had an aunt who lived to like 103 and everything she ate was grown in her backyard. And uh, and she even picked the dandelions to make dandelion tea. And, uh, you know, it really it really matters what you put in your body. You know, your your body, if it doesn't. Oh, it's a, it's, it, it's, absolutely. It's especially when you get older. You can get away with it, you know, misbehaving a little bit. But when you get older, you got to really make a choice here. You know, if you like, I said, everybody's probably lives about the same. What is your quality of life? Are you going to be uh, be able to be functional at your sixties, seventies, eighties, and do what you did in your twenties or thirties? Right. I can still I can still surf when I'm eighty years old. Wow. There's a lot of things I you know I just uh, my strength has held up through the years pretty real good. I'm not like oh, I'm twenty years old, but I'm still real functional yeah I don't, I don't get tired you know I, mean, I get up early i get up around four of sometime earlier and i you know I, I go through a you know cardio and stretching and then i go to work for a full, a full day and i come back and i work out yeah yeah and I, just, I just tore my quadricep and i'm trying to recover from that oh that's a tough one my husband did uh, that too takes a little um, time uh, yes. And if you, it, it's, yeah, as you get older, it's not easier, but I, I'm doing pretty good. I'm probably even in half the time of an average person. Oh, I'm sure you'll, you'll recover fast, you know? Yeah, pretty, yeah. But it's, uh, something you got to deal with, but you know, you're going to yeah. get the injuries as long as you, you can get it through those, long, you get it, stay away from those major diseases. And most of them are like you say, it's from your eating, the way you take care of yourself, you know, right. It's critical. And I just look at it as a challenge and it's fun. Yeah. You know, I still wear, I still, I got a 30 inch waist still. And I'm where I can wear the pants. I, you know, it might be out of style, but I can get into them. <laughs> huh? I can, I can still get in them. I might be not, not being a styling old dude, but I can fit into them. Yeah. Yeah. I still wear the same clothes. I wear, well, you look I, pretty thin style to me. Yeah. I, you know, but I work at it and I enjoy it. I, I do it. You know, because I like, I enjoy it. And I like to get to compliments. Who the hell doesn't? Yeah, exactly. I like, you, you, you look great if you come out with a nice new dress and you look like a million bucks. Who doesn't like the compliments? Of course. Definitely. Yeah. It works for me. <laughs> There's not a mirror I don't love. I go by. <laughs> <laughs> so what type of vitamins do you take on a daily basis? To I, I take you? a lot of stuff. Some we don't make, I'm going to be honest with you. I take, uh, I, I take a lot, a lot of powders, but I don't, what most people do is they mix them in, in something. I just take a spoonful. Oh, I really? A, I just put it in my mouth and I wash it down with my herb tea. Okay. You know, I, I take a, what we have is called a beauty collagen, which mm -hmm. has the, the collagen, but it has 5,000 mics of biotin, which is dynamite for your, for your hair. You yeah. Know, you're selling these hair products all the major ingredient is, is the biotin yeah hydrolonic acid which is great for your skin i could hold it up if you want me to yeah please do yeah yeah i take that i take the beetroot what i did when i formulated the beetroot i use apple cider vinegar and if you uh with apple cider vinegar it puts you in a, a neutral state you're uh, uh, uh your your p p p s PHS. PHS is in a neutral state. So I mixed up, you get a half a gram in there with this beetroot powder, which I have. Right. And I take that with like a said, I take a tablespoon and wash it down. I take a lot of uh, 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 amino acids straight. I take creatine, mm -hmm. which I'm coming out with a new one with uh, HMP in there, which will be a revolutional product. So we're going to be ready about three, four weeks with that. Oh, wow. And so that's I, very I, good for you, creatine. Uh, uh, that's probably the most steady uh, uh, supplement of, of all time. It started out in the bodybuilding world, but it's going the mainstream and it's very good. I think it's excellent for women, to be honest with you. Because, you know, as you get older, you lose uh, your muscle mass and then you get the sarcopenia. Yeah. You get the bingo arms. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I know, you know, uh, you know, when, when they first came out with creatine, it, it was in, it was more popular in the bodybuilding world. And then, Correct. you know, it's now I see it slowly making its way in and people are talking about it and you're seeing people, um, you know, praising the product. And, um, but I, you know, I didn't, you know, you see it, you know, I, I guess it's more of a myth, you know, they talk about it more for men, but like you said, it's actually good for women too. No, for the women, absolutely, especially with the HMB. That's a very new, steady ingredient. We're just mixing the two, combination of the two. Dynamite. The women, uh, you know, they 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 don't do as much resistance training, more lean towards the yoga and Pilates, which is great, but yeah. it's not resistance training. And they, you know, they live on salads and, you know, and stuff. Like You're not getting no, no protein. You got to balance out. Right. Protein is critical, especially when you get older. And I think you need the uh, resistance training bands weights whatever you want right that'll and then keep your protein not only your protein up it'll along it'll keep your bone mass up it's all tied together if your bones okay. go that's what your muscles are attached to that's going to go right exactly you know, it's, 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 a, it's a cascading effect and it just you know you don't have to be a, a freak at this stuff but you just put 20 30 if you really want it i think 40 minutes you can get a full blast workout yeah really, Hit it hard. It's 40 minutes. And then the rest, if you want to do a little cardio, or I think stretching is critical. I think yoga is great. Pilates is great. All of it's good. And just watch what you eat. If you eat good food, you can eat all you want. Right. Really Everybody who runs this diet and that diet, that's, that's all bunk. Yeah, I agree. You, you want to get your protein from pea protein? Great. You want to get it from, I would suggest you eat meat every day, but you can have a you know, once a week at least. And uh, I use this uh, buffalo because that's leaner than chicken, cleaner and leaner. I eat yeah. that. And along with the, just the fresh food, you know, I try right. to have a salad, try to have a salad every day. I eat vegetables. Uh. So Ron, you were telling me that you actually like to eat potatoes as part of your diet. Now, so many people, you know, you hear this controversy all the time. Some people, you know, you got, you got people saying carbohydrates are bad for you. Then you got people saying carbohydrates are good for you. Then they're trying to say, oh, you can have a handful of carbohydrates and that's it. And, you know, there's so many carbohydrates that like even beans and, and put certain potatoes that are good for you. And, and, and even like beans, they have protein and, and, and you have hummus and different things and they're considered carbohydrates but they're considered healthy. What's your intake on that? Like, how you, do you, you, feel? You, you hit it right on the head. You need carbohydrates. You got to burn something. Right. And it just quality the car. Are you going to go to a packaged foods and stuff? Processed carbohydrates has been hammered to death with everything you could dream of. Right. Like a, a fresh a potato or a yam or a, and you can even uh, air fry those things. I mean, you need carbs. You got to burn something. Right. And it just you just don't want to have a ninety percent carbohydrate diet. You got to be balanced out. Like I said, uh, if you if you eat a, a thousand calories a day, you need at least a ten to twenty percent of protein. Yes, and that's going to uh, uh, help you build muscle, your bones, and so on and so forth. Then you do need carbs. It's where they coming from, right? You know, they get some uh, processed bread. Yep. Yeah, you know, white bread or you know one of them or they bleached out or whatever. Yeah, rice uh, uh, is good, not a problem. Right. You just can't you know overkill. I mean, you just it's got to be balanced out. Your protein, uh, your 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 carbs, your fats, good fats from the avocados and olive oil, so on and so forth. Right. This stuff is pretty simple. I mean, you just got to stay away from the package goods as much. Pasta is not bad. I mean, it's not completely processed to death. Yeah. And it's not a few hundred calories, you know, for a serving. Right. But you do need carbs. And, uh, you know, they, they chase you around all these diets and everything. That's all a bunch of bunk. Yeah. Just, no. eat good food. just eat good, fresh food. Right. You know, when you get those carbs from the muffins and all that baked goods, it's, you know, white flour where they're using a ton of a uh, not even good oil and a lot, a lot of sugar. Yeah. But yeah. You can't live on that stuff. You know, yeah, that's not, you can, I'm not saying you never can have it, but right. it's going to be a, a treat. It's worth something. It's like when you go shopping, you find a new dress. It's very exciting. <laughs> so once a week, you look forward to it or a couple of times or, you know, or maybe even a little bit every day. 
a tiny right. bit you can control yourself. You got to look forward to those. Otherwise, you just, you know, you're just woofing them down. Now, with with vitamin D and zinc, um, you know, those are things that they, they suggest you have in your daily diet. Are those things that you take on, on a daily basis? Because uh, most yes, absolutely. I take both zinc and that. I take at least 5,000 uh, I use a D a day. Yeah. And the zinc's about 25 milligrams. And I, I take certain other things. Uh, you know, I take the K2 set, which a, K, a, a K27, which is really good uh, to keep, pull the the, uh, the the calcium out of your uh, uh, blood vessels and then to deposit it on your bones along with that collagen. Okay. You know, that's, you know, advanced stuff. But again, if you just eat good food, you know, the right. supplements are supplements. And hey, I love selling them. Uh, there's nothing. I love the manufacturing process of it and all that, but it's still nothing beats the good food. Nothing like right. a good meal. You know, glass of wine with it. You know, and you can live. You don't have to deprive yourself. Right. But you can't live off the fast food guys where you pile driving. You're going in with a burger and some fries. You're pile driving. <laughs> you're a thousand calories in you. Really, and mainly, mainly carb, uh, refined carbohydrates. Right. Well, we had a doctor on from Harvard, and he was talking about how diabetes had tripled in our nation. And one of the main reasons was he stressed the processed foods. You know, that yeah. was. Yeah. And uh, that's one thing we have to stay away from. But it seems like we, you know, from our discussion that we really have to have a cocktail um, of, of things in our life. It's kind of like, a, you know, you have to eat well, you have to, you know, we become deficient in a lot of things as we get older. So we have to have some, you know, vitamins and supplements in our diet to keep ourselves balanced, like you had mentioned, keep those hormones balanced because we lose a lot of hormones. We become low in certain hormones, many of us, you know, as we get older and um, and just have incorporating some exercise, you know. I always tell people too, you know, everybody has a different body, but at least if you can get 15 minutes of exercise and circulation into your body for people who might not have as much stamina or might have problems, get some type of exercise and movement into your body, even if it's walking around the block. And, um, and I think, uh, you know, just, uh, it's just a, a cocktail of healthy living, I think. Well, you look at it this way, you got 24 hours a day. You need to take a you want sleep, you want a nap too. You still got eight or nine hours. Right. You're gonna work eight hours a day. Let's say it's 16 hours. What the hell are you gonna do with the other eight hours? You can't right. give yourself your uh yourself the time. Look at it like you're going to the beauty shop, you know, you get the nails done and the hair done, you know, it's just part of the whole thing. Right. You exactly. gotta you can't give yourself an half an hour a day out of 24. You mean like less than five percent of your time dedicated to make you feel good and look good? Right. Joking. Exactly. You know, you just, well, discipline is a big deal. If you can be disciplined, is a big deal. A lot of people don't have the discipline. Right. This is really the the foundation of being healthy. The discipline. I mean, you tell me you can't. Instead of you wake up at six, you can't get up at five forty-five. I mean, come on, give me a break. Right. These little things. I mean, and, and the, the discipline is critical in the weight training or the working out. If you notice, I know you go to them, you go there the same time. It's a discipline, right? Whether it's 12 in the afternoon or five in the morning, it's a discipline. And from there you build, right? And the discipline will, will, will actually really serve you really, really, really well. And that's probably, I would say, if you're going to start anywhere, get your act together, the discipline will put you on the right track. Yes, I agree. Eating, that'll come, you know, if you, you, you like I said, if you don't get out of 24 hours, you can't give yourself of uh, five uh, percent of your time for just yourself, right? You know, I mean, you know, that's ridiculous, and you know, sleep in too much, you know, that type of stuff. Now, if you had around, to take, go ahead. Be laying around all day long, people do that. You'd be so they didn't get fat by moving around. Let me put it that way. Right. It's still calories in, calories out. If you if you have a high calorie diet. You still can burn a lot of calories, but sitting around, you do burn a little bit at rest, but you, you got to get moving. You rest, you rust. Right. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, right. Yeah. You rest, you rust, you're finished, man. Especially when you're older, you got to move. I mean, just like your car. I mean, if you let your car just sit around for 
a year and go try to start it up, I don't think it's going to be doing so well. Right. Same thing. You don't do anything. You got to, you got to move. You need to respect yourself and put a little something in yourself. True. Very true. Make you, make you feel good, especially for the females and make you feel good mentally. Yes. It's pretty important the way you feel mentally will reflect everywhere else. Oh, a hundred percent. hundred percent. You know, you have to You see people coming or walk in a room, they're, they're going with the, with the confidence, the confidence, they feel good. They feel good about yourself. Yeah. Very important. It is very important. If you had to take everything we talked about today and uh, give a couple of tech takeaways, what would be certain things that you want to emphasize today from our conversation to the listeners? Give, give yourself some time, spoil yourself, give yourself a 45 minutes or 40 minutes a day to enjoy. I don't care what it is. You know, sometimes you kind of slow to get going. Once you get moving, you'll feel good. That is one of them. And you eat all you want, but eat good fresh food. And if you want to have some cheat days here, go on. If you're doing, if you're eating good every day, set six times a, 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 a week and maybe or, or two weeks and you want to give yourself a bender, it's not going to hurt nothing because all the good has been done. You're not going to unwind it with one meal. Right. Yeah, you got to live. But, and the discipline, like I said, that'll get you on the right track to get you in a, a, a habit. Right. A habit. Like we, I know you take care of yourself and it becomes habitual. Yes. And if you don't do it, you think you've missed something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You That's just get that true. right mental attitude. It'll take you a long way. It'll take in everything you do. Right. If you're healthy, you can do anything. It's very true. Pretty, pretty much. And there's in, you, it's never too late to start. No. Never. You just uh, take, you know, put that little bit of time in yourself. I don't consider getting your nails as a major deal done, but it, it doesn't hurt. Or getting <laughs> a facial or getting a massage. That's a plus. Right. But you can take care of yourself without spending any money. Exactly. I mean, you don't have to go to a fancy gym or anything. Get some bands and uh, stretch on the floor. Right. And it's so good for you, it's too. No problem. Absolutely. When you feel good mentally, it's a mental, it starts mentally, too. Yes, it's, it definitely does. It definitely does. A lot of people are just, uh, you know, I understand they work hard and come home, but you still can squeeze in a little time for yourself. Everybody needs it. My goodness. Oh, for sure. Now, if people wanted to find your your vitamins and supplements, where can they go to find them? Pretty much Amazon. We're rare in a lot of, ma in a, almost every health food store we're in. Or there's other, uh, e any e-tailer, anybody sells vitamins online, we pretty much do business with them. Okay. Does Walmart sell them also? Or We're on walmart.com. Yeah, we, we have about maybe 50 or 100 items on there. Walmart, Amazon, iHerb, okay. uh, Swanson's, uh, Vitacost is owned by Kroger. They're a big mm -hmm. giant company. We do business with them. And and then where, um, what, can you tell everybody uh, your website? We do these sprouts uh, across the country. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Superior Source. Yeah, superiorsource.com. Yeah. Okay. So that, this has been wonderful, Ron. I, I really enjoyed this conversation. I, I love having you on the show. And I, I think you look amazing, you know, and you take now, care of yourself who, who's so Who's well. my undertaker, right? I look great. Who's my undertaker, right? <laughs> You know what I love doing the shows with people like you because you're like-minded and it's really nice to be around like-minded people and everything else seems to fall in line if you have a common de denominator. Yeah. And taking care of yourself is to me a common denominator. And I like to be around people like that. Not that I don't have a problem with anybody else, but it kind of sets the tone right. Yeah. No, I agree. I feel like when you have when you're around people who are like minded, there also is a positive vibe and a positive mm -hmm. energy, and you kind of reinforce each other because you're on the same line it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what ages you are if you have the same common denominator you can feel the positive energy in the room and you can that you reinforce each other with that positive energy you're 100 percent right that's why i like doing your show some shows i won't do i want to be in a like-minded in a health in a health show and it's not not at all about me making money and selling vitamins but it's just Spread the lifestyle. I, I, I've i been doing this for over 60 years. Yeah. Stop. Non, non stop. And I started working out when it wasn't popular. I went in, I was, I was, uh, uh, quick story. 
there was a Vietnam age and everybody was scared to death to go to war. They were drafting. Yeah. So I, I, saw, I heard two people talking and they said they're going to open a reserve unit to make it real quick. I joined the reserve unit. When I went in for basic training, out of 32,000 people, I, on the, they call it PT test. I was number one. Oh, wow. Uh, had this, yeah, I had to be able to climb a rope. I could climb a rope without any legs. So, I mean, I was so fit already that they, they, they the big brass had come down to, to interview me. Mm -hmm. This goes back to the 60s. Wow. Nobody, nobody was lifting weights at all. And I was uh, really strong. They would make you do the monkey bars and everything. At the yeah. end, I, I would flip off the bars. Nobody could do that stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been doing this since actually working out since about eight years old. Wow. Wow. Did you have an inspiration in your life that made you so? Uh, my father was pretty much. Yeah. You know, was, uh, a guy I met at the gym, a guy called Danny Klein. He was about eight or nine years old and he, he kind of toughened me up. <laughs> You know, I, I, I was 103 pounds all the way to I was six, 16 years old. Oh, three. Oh, that wow. Was, that was dripping wet. <laughs> and I, I was on the swim team. Then I started, I just got tired of that. And I started really getting into the weight training at about 16. So I gained 102 pounds in about two or three years. It was over 200 pounds. Oh, wow. Just working out and the lifestyle of the working out in the gyms. That's where I met, you know, Lou Ferrigno. I mean, there was a small gym I belonged to. It goes as Louis, Arnold, these guys. There's only about 100 members in there. Yeah. You become a, and I know these guys were lifelong friends. Wow. It's a lifestyle and it's a great lifestyle. It's a clean lifestyle. And you meet a lot of intellectual, a lot of everything there, but everybody's moving kind of mentally in the same direction. Yeah common denominator and i like to be around with people that have clean livers right i prefer it yeah i agree yeah that's why i like doing your show you're right you're right on the money <laughs> I, oh i think you are absolutely you're extremely knowledgeable too oh thank you i appreciate that yeah, and you, you you know uh, i i know you're pushing this health out and everything and uh and, and uh it's great helping you're helping a lot of people it's really good if they if you got any smarts so listen to me Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. No, there's not a lot of people like you. I mean, there's a lot of mouth off. You know, I see these guys that talk in health and this and that. I mean, take a look at them, you know, I mean, you know, what's going on here, man? You know, <laughs> it, 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 it don't add up to two. I'm, they're saying one thing and I'm looking at it. Yeah. Is another. Right. And I'm saying, you know, I mean, is, I mean, are you going to be confident in listening to what they say? <laughs> very yeah. true. But it's very important that, that we need more people like you. Oh, thank you so much. Well, absolutely, you're you're doing a, you're doing a service. They should put you on the presidential health health, health panel. They got one of those. <laughs> no, they do. They appoint them for that. They used to. I remember Arnold was appointed, and there's a oh, few. Oh, really? Others. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. They, they 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 inspire. It's very important. Well, you can refer me to anyone you want. <laughs> I'm here. Well, you're doing a great job, and you're and you're taking you're taking care of yourself and your husband and everything. That's that's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Well, you're doing a wonderful job and a wonderful yeah. service to everybody too. You're providing people with wonderful supplements and vitamins, and not only are you do you have great great products, but you are an example of you know of the ideal uh, person that everyone wants to be. You know, everyone. I think I'm inspirational. You, you definitely know? are. Not everybody's going to go for my shtick, but I think I'm on the right path. It, it works for me and everybody I know. I have a lot of friends like me. It really, really works. Like you. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just a great feeling. Yes, it is. And I commend you for everything that you've done over Stay the years. Here. We're going to have to meet sometime. You know that. <laughs> oh, I definitely want to meet. I definitely want to meet. Yes. For I sure. Definitely. I want to thank you for all the time you've given me. And I hope I can be helpful to anybody that cares about their self. Well, I, I think you've made a lot of great pointers today. I think you gave a lot of great advice and I think you are an inspiration to others. I think people just by just hearing you talk, by seeing you as an example and everything that you've accomplished, I think uh, people definitely will look up to you. I, as, I've as been very lucky. Yeah.
well, I want to, you know, be some, inspire somebody to make, feel good about their self. Uh, you know, everybody has some bad patches, but this can take you away from that bad spots. If you put your energy and your time in yourself, you'll start, right. you, you'll, you'll see it. It'll come. I 100% I guarantee it. Oh, for sure. You get all, you know, all this stuff coming at you from every which way. And, uh, you know, it's a different world now than when I grew up, but, uh, it, it, it'll make you feel good. You got to have some break here. You know, yes. your, this is a real positive effect and everybody will improve. I don't care who you are. Oh, I agree. A hundred percent, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, thank you so much, Ron, for coming on the show. I really enjoyed okay. this. I look forward to oh, thank having you. you. Oh. And oh. I want everyone to know that Ron is going to be, uh, he is one of our, um, podcast uh, community members and he's going to be coming on the show on a routine basis to share his knowledge and i look forward to having you again maybe maybe i can come up with some co uh, uh, cooking tips you know how to make how to cook clean and quick oh know? i would and, love know, that that would be an not, excellent idea not no dr no drudgery yeah i mean i'm talking about the bride here <laughs> i'm talking about my wife here if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be in the shape I am in. <laughs> she's a she's a fan. Not a she knows she understands the read the labels and the ingredients and how to put things together, but she's quick at it too. That's great. She can make cardboard taste good. <laughs> I love your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for everything. It's oh, been, thank you. It's been fun. Yes, yeah, same here. You have a great okay. day. It's okay, been bye bye. A pleasure. Bye-bye.